The ATP World Tour takes in some of the most spectacular locations in the world, and that's never more clear than at the Abierto Mexicano Hotel Cell in Acapulco. With its beautiful beaches and stunning coastline, it's easy to see why the players love to play at the tournament held at the Fairmont Acapulco Princess. And it's no surprise that in 2007, it won the award for the best tournament of the year in its category. Acapulco has become a very interesting uh, point in the agenda of the tournaments. We have a beautiful set with Acapulco right by the beach, and it's, uh, the setup is very unique. So, you know, being be an Open 500, and it's uh, an excellent end of the Golden Swing, of the Latin American Swing on clay. So, I think, uh, you know, the combination of the site and, and the atmosphere, having a Saturday final, so everything sort of like it clicks on, on the tournament and everything, it's great. Spain's Fernando Vadasco is a favorite at this ATP World Tour 500 event. This year, he managed to squeeze in a chance to help with the Mexican lotto draw. I think it's a very important uh, tournament for, uh, for many players, uh, many clay court players on the tour. And uh, there are great tournaments, no? great cities, uh, great places, and here Acapulco, is the last one, is the big is the big one, the 500, and I think it's an it's event with many years. You can see in this world, uh, unbelievable players that they play here, they won here, and uh, I think it's, uh, well, for me, it's one of my favorite places by far. I think it's unbelievable, and you really enjoy playing here. Acapulco's legendary white party is one of the reasons the players like it here so much. They dress to impress in the color that is normally reserved for center court at Wimbledon. The priority, of course, is getting it right on the orange clay. And this man knows what it takes. Last year was an uh, amazing uh, clay season here in South America. Now it's a good season. I won a title in Sao Paulo. I did a final in Buenos Aires. And when we see the, the, the orange on court, we, we play with, with, with a lot of passion and we play our best tennis. Coming to Acapulco at the end of the South American swing offered Colombian Santiago Giraldo a taste of home. It's a beautiful tournament. I, I love uh, Mexico because the people is friendly, the people is nice, the food is nice. Uh, it's a good people. It's pretty similar to Colombia people. And that's why I like it. And, and, and we I always try to come here and to play my best tennis also. So it's a good combination of both things. There is without any doubt that uh, the 2003 final between uh, Zabaleta and Caleri was very exciting. It was a uh, an epic match, and it was a, a, a match that it really represented what is the tournament about. It's not about if you are number one or two or six or seven, it's just that it's the best tennis on court, and Caleri played a tremendous match. It was a three-setter, you know, like the crowd, was, the crowd was getting very crazy, and it really didn't matter the ranking. Everybody was thinking about the great tennis that the crowd saw. But I think it's an unbelievable tournament. It's, it's one of my favorites by far. Now the Acapulco tennis had to match the beautiful surroundings. An excellent week of action in Mexico conjured up a mouth-watering final as defending champion David Ferrer met Fernando Vadasco. These compatriots had faced off 13 times, Vadasco edging the FedEx ATP head-to-head 7-6. -head but beaten just once this year, Ferrer was the favorite. Looking to win an Acapulco for the third straight year, Ferrer took control from the start, chasing down everything to earn an early break. On the back of his victory in Buenos Aires last week, Ferrer was brimming with confidence. At times, there was nothing Vadasco could do. After taking the opening set 6-1, Ferrer raced into a lead in the second set. Facing another break point at 4-2, Vadasco was playing a man he just could not put away. At times, Ferrer's defence defied belief. With two ATP World Tour titles to his name this season, Ferrer was closing in on a third, 
After just over an hour, he had match point. A superb performance from Ferrer, comprehensively beating Vadasco, who's looked more like his old self this week. It's 18 wins this season for Ferrer and only one defeat. He's 2012's pace setter on clay. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, a special report from Indian Wells, the first ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event of 2012. March Madness stateside, we shoot the breeze with American legend Pistol Pete Sampras ahead of Indian Wells. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.